So the big part is over. If you miss the big game, it's time to relive the moment in a main style. There were some wardrobe problems even before the game got started. Apparently, the U.S. uniforms were made in China. What's the big deal? So was the U.S. flag. Opening ceremony! We got over a million views on this and it covers everything. Mary Poppins, Voldemort, energetic children dancing on hospital beds. You have to check it out. Did you catch the controversy surrounding Chinese swimmer Ye Shiwen? Why does everyone think she's a drug cat? Maybe she knows some underwater kung fu, you know, apply the right chi to the yin yin of water. You know, maybe her master chief will tell her well. Speaking of swimmers, how can we forget about Phelps the Great? After some initial disappointment, he went ahead and became the greatest Olympian of all time. Good for him. But who I fell in love with was Lochte. Seven times four is 28. I feel so smart. So we Taiwanese do not do our best this time. But you know what? We're not bad at sports. There are some sports we're good at. So the US and China pretty much dominated the game. It's a no-brainer, because they send the most athletes to the game. But who came out on top this time? Hmm. Speaking of rivalries, Japan and South Korea, they got some serious tension going on. <laughs> serious tension. Oh, look, more competition between Great Britain and its former colony, Australia. Look at the queen beating a poor kangaroo. Hope you guys had a good London Olympics. I'll see you four years later in Rio. Go Taiwan!